name is Dr. Eliab Serone Some. I'm the program leader for the new Bachelor of Science in Epidemiology and Biostatistics. This is a course that has been started at USIU to respond to such things as epidemics. So the program produces professionals whom we call three in one ready to go. They are trained in public health, they are trained in epidemiology, and they are trained in biostatistics. We say that epidemiology and biostatistics are the pillars of public health. The Bachelor of Science in Applied Biochemistry program is uh, a new uh, horizon expanding uh, program that the School of Pharmacy and Health Sciences and uh, the wider uh, USIU Africa uh, community is uh, excited to launch um, and bring it to um, potential students uh, from our country and even from abroad uh, who are interested uh, in learning about the interface uh, between um, biology and chemistry and how you can use that uh, knowledge uh, to solve um, lots of issues um, that affect uh, different phases and different uh, components of our existence, uh, ranging from healthcare uh, to industrial processes uh, to agricultural processes and even all the way to criminal justice. In Bachelor of Technology in Analytical Chemistry, you will be taught skills and techniques that you can apply in quality control lab, techniques and skills that you can use in analysis of pharmaceutics, techniques and skills that you can use in analysis of food samples, you can use in analysis of food products, among others. We are happy because we have state-of-the-art equipment, well-qualified faculty and staff, to take you through the courses. We also have diverse MOUs with industries, research institutions, hospitals, whereby you have a chance to practice before you go out there to practice. Bachelor of Technology in Analytical Chemistry is a very exciting uh, course because uh, analytical chemistry basically is a chemistry of analysis and it has various applications. You can uh, use the, uh, the skills that you're going to learn there to analyze things like food, you can analyze like uh, water. You can also develop um, uh, diagnostic devices like biosensors for COVID to detect. You can also detect uh, malaria diseases like Mbilazia. And therefore, it has a wide uh, range of applications. And therefore, in the Bachelor of Technology and Analytical Chemistry, the students are going to acquire uh, hands on skills and experience in instrumentations which they can use in these analysis. And once they graduate, they can work in pharmaceutical industries, they can analyze drugs, they can work in the hospitals, they can analyze the diseases, they can also work in industries uh, because it has a variety of applications. Public health is looking after the health of populations and population groups. Epidemiology is the study of the disease occurrence and distribution in people and what determines the distribution and the occurrence and then using that knowledge to control it. Biostatistics, on the other hand, is using statistics to describe biological phenomena. How many people are dying? How many people are sick? How many people are vaccinated? How many people are on a program? So this new program is responding specifically to the increased incidence of pandemics. And so when our students get enrolled, they will go through both the practical, the theory, and the exposure to real life situations where people live and where there are diseases, where there are programs for intervention, and they make contact with both healthy people as well as sick people. That is the new program which is now in its fourth year. Our first cohort of students will graduate in September 2022. So it's a course that is well developed, approved by the Commission of University Education, approved by the US WASC, which is the Western University and Colleges uh, accreditation body. So it's an international course. So you're all welcome.
Maybe um, one more thing that I'd like to point out about the new program is that um, you're not only going to be, to be relying on faculty within USIU, but you also have uh, people who are potential employers who are going to be part of the, uh, the trainers uh, for the program. We, we, uh, at the end of the third year uh, of the program, uh, we're going to have a very intensive um, nine-hour course, um, which is equivalent to nine um, credit units, uh, whereby we're going to have potential employers who are going to be the ones coming in uh, to train our students into what they expect our students to have or the knowledge that they expect our students uh, to have uh, or to be able to apply uh, once they get into employment. So these uh, experts will be drawn from industry, uh, they will be drawn, drawn from um, quality assurance agencies, they will be drawn uh, from uh, food technology industries, they will be drawn from uh, research institutes, uh, they will even be drawn also from other academic institutions and uh, also uh, uh, even uh, from um, industries that um, are potential employees for these students. Uh, so even going forward, uh, the, we would expect that our students are going to be absorbed by their, uh, by some of their trainers. To ensure you get the hands-on experience, we conduct small class sizes of 15 to 20 students and in the lab we work at a maximum of 5 students per equipment. With the increased demand for skilled labour force to deliver the Vision 2030, and the AU Agenda 2063 on STEM, USIU Africa has launched two programs for capacity generation in applied biochemistry and analytical chemistry. Karibu USIU Africa and experience education to take you places.